Now the first causal principle of idea, CPI1, that is the idea has to be caused by uh, the thing that it refers to, we didn't think you know, it was very good. CPI2, I didn't think was that bad because after all, you know, it is sort of built on a principle that something, if, if you get something, even if it's just an idea, it has to be caused by something at least as real as, as, as the idea. It makes some sense. But Descartes can have an even more refined principle about objective and formal reality. And here's what he has to say. So this is what he has to say. But that a particular idea contains this as opposed to that objective reality is surely owing to some cause in which there is at least as much formal reality as there is objective reality in the idea. The, idea the, the concept behind it is that if we're looking at the objective reality of ideas, the difference in the objective reality is certainly due you know, to some cause, you know, the, that is the idea is due to some cause that has as much formal reality as the objective reality of the idea. He says, for if we assume that something is found in the idea that was not in the cause, then the idea gets something from nothing. And, and you really can't get something from nothing. And here it kind of explains what the causes of ideas metaphysically are related to the, the causes, the reality in the cause. So the principle that Descartes, I think, is appealing to in his cosmological argument is here CPI3, the causal principle of ideas number three. That is, the cause of an idea must have as much formal reality as the idea has objective reality, right? Because how can you get something from, from absolutely nothing? Now, I think armed with this idea causality principle, we then get what is actually Descartes' cosmological argument, his argument in the third meditation that is supposed to establish God's existence. And remember, it's a very important it's very important that he establish God's existence because as the beginning of the as the third meditation starts, he does not know anything except what's going on in his own mind. Remember I said there's the view solipsism that the only thing that exists is me and my mental life. That's the position that Descartes is in at the beginning of the third meditation.